everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Magical Realm. Tonight I'm reading you a story that I just wrote. It's called The Enchanting Story of the Wolf Moon, and it's an ASMR bedtime story. And if you like Wolf Moon stories as much as I do, I have more information about the Wolf Moon in the links below. And here we go. There are those that say a wolf sang the moon into existence. And there are those that say the moon is a god. And that is why the wolves howl. Because they are worshipping her. I have always loved learning about the moon. I love to sit before her and adore her. Some nights I find myself hypnotized by the moon and I wander off outside to follow her path as she lights my way and guides me. Tonight is different. It is the month of January and in the month of January the full moon in this month is known as the wolf moon. There is just a different feeling in the air now. You know, some wolves will never be able to control their urges, no matter how much they wish they could. They can't control their lust or their love or the hunt and kill. Tonight while walking and lost in thought, I decided to go down to the campfire. That is where my mother told stories of our history. She would talk about how we came from Ireland and how at one time Ireland was filled with wolves, so many that it was named Wolfland until man came in and killed off almost every wolf. The wolves were desperate and they sought out a shaman for help. The shaman cast a magic spell on the night of the wolf moon so that the wolves were transformed, half human and half wolf. So that way the wolves could walk among among the humans without being killed. However, on the night of the full moon, we turn back into werewolves, but that is temporary and only lasts one night. The wolf moon is very powerful and intense. It is the best time to cast a spell and to make choices. You have the option under the wolf moon to turn full human or full wolf or stay hybrid. The wolf moon is also a mating season. It is when wolves decide to find a mate. But be careful. Under the wolf moon, you can get carried away with this intense energy. Mother always said her favorite story of the wolf moon is a, is a story of me. She said I was born under the wolf moon and that I am her magical wolf moon girl. She also warned us about vampires. She said they were also wolves at one point. That is, until they were seduced by dark magic. And they were tricked into eating decayed flesh. That is how they turned into vampires. They had to feed on blood to survive. That was part of their curse. Another story the mother talked about was under the wolf moon that the female wolves prepared a ritual to get ready before she was introduced to a man. She would take a luxurious bath with certain crystals in the bath 
to help prepare her for her night. She also used certain aromatherapy oils to make her more irresistible and intoxicating. Also, she would put flowers in the bath. One of the flowers that were used in this bath were roses. Not only do they smell good, but they have a very high vibration. This was really quite beautiful. Candles would be lit all around her. And then when she was done, she would put on a beautiful dress handed down from generation to generation. It would get tailored with each use to look a little more modern. Next, she would put on a beautiful red velvet cape with a hood that had jewels on it. It had moons and stars made out of diamonds and moonstones. And then from there, her family would bring her out in a line of other female wolves that were in her wolf pack. And from there it went by ranking. The alpha male, he had the first choice. And the next in line would choose from there. And then it would go, etc., etc. But now times have changed and traditions have been lost. The wolf packs are much smaller now than they used to be. Wolves are free to make their own choices now. Mother said that when we howl at the moon, we howl for the pain of our existence. We also howl at beauty and love and we howl when we need help. She also said that each wolf had different psychic gifts. Some wolves had the gift of healing. Some could see the future in their dreams. And I had the gift of both. Now it was getting late and mother decided to go inside. I, however, found myself wandering around outside under the moon's glow tonight. It led me down a path that went into the woods. I followed it until I reached a lake. I put one foot in the lake and one foot on the ground, symbolizing my connection with the earth and spirit. I stared at the water. Then I saw a glow behind me, but when I turned around, it was gone. So I decided to try to find out what it was. And when I searched, I looked, but I could not find it. So I went back home the next night, I felt the same urge to wander off outside. Now that the wolf moon is near, I started noticing strange feelings of freedom and wanting a mate. I decided to follow the same path into the woods. It led me back to the water. This time, I decided to swim in the water as I started to get out of the water, I noticed a light again. It was the same light that I saw last night. As I walked closer, it took shape into a spirit. It was a male spirit. He said he was my spirit guide. He said he's been with me every step of my life. And now he comes to me to help me in person because he feels that I am ready con to connect with him and listen to his advice. He told me that we had past lives together and he is very protective over me. I felt a strong connection to him 
It was as if I started to remember some of our lifetimes together. He talked to me about my recent dreams that I have had. It was about two men. He said that I don't have to rush into a decision on this wolf moon of who my mate will be. Times have changed. I was happy to hear that. I have been having dreams of two men lately. I was with them in past lives. I asked my spirit guide what it means. He said eventually it will all make sense to me but to have patience. I don't know these men yet. But I feel their presence at night. He said that I have been having these dreams because these two men that I have been dreaming of will be coming into my life soon. It may not be on the wolf moon. He started talking about divine timing. I asked my spirit guide if I turned into a full human, would I lose my psychic abilities? He said no. But I am not sure if this at this point what I am going to do. I think I need to think about it some more. I'm not sure if I want to be full human. They seem to have many problems. I like being off the grid and off the radar in my own mystical world. My spirit guide advised me to get some sleep and to rest and that there is no rush into anything. I then thanked him for his advice and then I went home and decided to get some sleep. Maybe my answers will come to me in my dreams again tonight. I always look forward to my dreams now. I feel so filled with hope now after talking to my spirit guide. It was so much easier for me to fall asleep tonight. The end. And again, if you would like more stories about the wolf moon, click in the comment section. That is where I put the links on the other stories that I wrote. Have a good night.